Hey guys, so this is the album that we're going to make today. I'm just going to do a really quick walkthrough, and if you want a more detailed um, display, you can go into the end. So this folds out into four separate sections. We've got um, some fold outs, we've got a waterfall in here, um, we've got another little pocket and flap here, and this also opens up. So there's room for lots and lots of pictures um, in this album, and I thought it was really cute and quick and easy to make. So uh, follow along and check us out. Um, as we make this together as my, I think my last Christmas project, although I may still do a couple more. I'm going to be using my photo play, Not a Creature with Stirring, which is the 2020 photo play Christmas line, but I can't get over the cuteness of it with the little mice singing um, and the gingerbread houses. So I'm going to finish up for what I have left of this, which is just a few sheets, and I'm going to use up some of my um, 6x6 pad as well. We're also going to be using 110 pound cardstock for the folio base. Um, and that's it. So again, as usual, we'll have some liquid glue involved. I always use the Art Glitter Dries Clear. It's my favorite glue. And we'll also use some double-sided tape for this project. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the left and right sides of the album. So first we're gonna cut the left side. So your first flap, you're going to measure at eight by seven. Let's go ahead and cut that. And just a word um, while I'm cutting, I always measure, read out the, the um, measurements height by width. So the first number will always be the height unless I note otherwise, okay? So your first piece is eight by seven and you're just going to get out your scoreboard. Whoops, excuse me. Okay, and the book is eight inches tall, so we want to score to attach the sides. So you're going to run your seven inches across the top, okay? And you're gonna score this at six and a quarter. Okay, and it's at six and a half. So what we have now is a quarter inch spine on this flap and then a half inch to attach to the center piece. Okay, so we'll just put that down for a second. And you can just go ahead and fold over, burnish your edges. Okay. And we're, before we leave the left-hand side, we're going to make the top and bottom flaps for it. So for the top flap, you're gonna cut a piece of cardstock that is four and a half by six and a quarter. So four and a half by six and a quarter. I still haven't bought myself one of those combo scoreboards and cutting and cutting uh, blade boards. Um, I want to, and I know you guys left me, some of you left me some comments. So I think I'm going to do invest in that in the new year. Anyways, um, you're gonna lay your four and a half inch side across the top and then score this at half an inch. So that is your top flap. Okay. And now we're gonna cut out the bottom flap. And so for the bottom flap, you're gonna cut a piece that's five and a half by six and a quarter. Let me make sure. Yes, so five and a half. by six and a quarter. So this is the bottom flap. And again, you're gonna score this also at half an inch. So run your five inch, uh, five and a half inch side along the top of your scoreboard and score this at half an inch. Okay, the other thing that I do in my tutorials is we build and go. So we don't cut all the pieces first. Um, we cut pieces and attach them and just move on. So we have progress as we kind of move forward in building the album. So I'm gonna go ahead now and bring back um, your left flap and the top and bottom flaps. So and we're gonna go ahead and stick those down. So just fold those over and go over them um, with your boning knife. Okay, and so I'm going to be using my double-sided tape here. So I'm just going to peel off some tape and just stick it down. Just 
to this side and then to the top. Okay. And now to attach, I always like to use this method. So um, the shorter piece will be the top flap. So what I do is I just peel back a corner, right? We don't want to peel off the whole backing because this will allow me to line this up at the top like so. Make sure everything's lined up and then slowly peel out the backing as we stick this down. So this just allows you to have a little more space in case you make a boo-boo there. Okay, now we're going to stick down the bottom piece, same way. Okay, I'm just going to line this up in the corner, make sure everything looks good. It's not, you want to make sure you're not hitting into, um, see that is hitting into right now. You want to make sure that you're not covering the score line because otherwise when you go to fold this up, it will not sit nicely. So you want to make sure you can still see that score line over there. All right, so that is your first piece ready. So you wanna just fold over that spine again just to make sure that you've got it nice and flat and you haven't put your flaps too close to there, like they don't get in the way, okay? So there is your left-hand side. So we can just put that aside for a second and now we're gonna work on the right-hand side. So the right-hand side is a fold-out, but it's a vertical fold-out. So first thing we're gonna do is cut down um, piece, the first piece we need, which is going to measure eight by nine and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna measure out eight by nine and a half. There we go. Okay, and then so we're gonna put the nine inch side across the top and we're gonna score this at half and at one quarter and at seven. and fold these pieces over. Now this is a really thick cardstock, so you really have to um, dig deep, but be careful you don't wanna break the paper. Uh, with this weight, I haven't really had any issues with cracking or breaking, but it is a bit difficult to fold. So this part where you're burnishing down with your boning knife is just, it's really, really important so that you get all the nice uh, movement and flexibility in the album. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so the other thing we're gonna do for this is cut this the left flap coming out. So there's another flap that tucks in here. So let me just set this down. And then so for your left flap, you're going to measure a piece at eight um, by five and a half. So again, it's eight inches tall. It'd be good if I stop bumping my camera, right guys? Eight inches by five and a half. And this is going to be sitting over here under that flap. So I want to attach this. So I need to score this at half an inch so that I can go ahead and attach it. So I'm going to put my short side across the top and just going to score this at half an inch. All right. Okay, so we can go ahead and attach this now as well. All right, this is going, so um, you're going to attach this to the left-hand side. So you have two score lines here. The first one is from half an inch, and then the next one is a quarter of an inch in from the last. So you're going to put this right against the edge um, of the second score line, okay? But so that you can still see the score line, remember. So let's go ahead and go in with our double-sided tape here again. Oops, oops, I almost pulled off the whole thing. I just want to pull off the bottom corner 
And we're going to just line this all up nicely and make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, I'm going to hold that steady. Just pull that out. There we go. Perfect. So that folds over this way. Now I have an interesting closure method for here. Um, so we're gonna cut the pieces for the closure now, but just set them aside um, and we'll bring them back later when we go to finish this part. So first thing you're gonna do is cut a little strip that measures four by one inches, okay? So um, if you have a little scrap you can use, I've got this little scrap that looks like it will do. So that's one inch, one inch by four inches and you're not going to do anything with this yet but i'm going to show you how this is going to work and then the other thing you're going to do is cut out a little card um, that measures three by three okay so there's three by three okay perfect so <clears throat> The way this is going to work is once after we put our decorative paper down, obviously, we're going to stick this down and then this card will slide in and it's going to um, hold down this flap. So this is just another way, as if you guys have done my other tutorials, I really like using methods that don't require me to use magnets and that are interactive. So you'll be able to sort of slide this in and out. So just set this aside, maybe tuck them in or... or, or um, use a paper clip. These are the pieces that we'll use for this uh, flap. Okay, so let's just look quickly at what we've got so far. We have um, the left flap and the right flap. And so now we're going to complete the two center flaps. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start cutting the pieces for the inside middle part, I guess the base, if you will. So first we're going to do the right hand side where my uh, fold out pocket attaches to. So you're going to measure a piece that's eight by six and a quarter to start. So down here to eight by six and a quarter. Okay. So that is the base back. And then this has two flaps on it. So we're going to cut two pieces. The top flap is going to measure five and a quarter by five and a quarter square. Okay, just put that aside for a second. And then your bottom piece will measure five and a quarter by, oops, I got cut off there. So your bottom piece is going to measure um, five and a quarter. So that's already five and a quarter by three. Okay, so five and a quarter by three for the bottom piece. And then you're gonna cut one more piece, which is the card that we put in place. So this you're going to measure, I just happen to have one, but you're going to measure this at four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so let's just put those pieces aside. Um, so get your scoreboard out and take out your five and a quarter square piece and score that down here on one side at half an inch. Okay, so that's where we're going to attach the flap at the top. Okay, so what we have now, we have our base and our top flap. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the top flap. Okay, so you're going to, it's smaller than the back and that's on purpose because I like the way this looks when you put the patterned paper down um, to cover this up. You've got sort of the pattern on both sides. So this is by design. If you want to make it wider and cover the whole piece, you can, but just sort of center it there at the top like so and just pull that out. So there's our top flap. Okay, so after you've attached this top piece, you want to then install the pocket at the bottom. I'm not gonna put it on yet. You can see, actually I did, because I forgot I had glued it on and then I pulled it off right away. Because you're going to want to cover this with your patterned paper first, and then put this pocket on, just so that you have um, the sides covered with patterned paper as well. So what we can do for now is just sort of place it 
I just want to show you where it's going to go and then we'll come back later and actually attach it. But the pocket will go here and then this card that I had you cut out will slide into the pocket and it'll hold the top flap down, okay? So let's just put that aside. So that is the right side center. Now we're going to work on the left side center, which is um, a waterfall piece. And actually, before we do that, I'm going to attach the right side to this so, the, so that our album is starting to really come together. So recall, this is the right side. It's the side with this little pocket and the two little pieces. We'll deal with those later. So um, what you're going to do is take your right hand side and then between the edge and your first score line, you're going to put down some double sided tape. Okay, and I'll just peel back a corner. And I love doing building the albums this way because you can really see them progressing and coming along. Okay, we'll just peel that back. Set those up there for a second. And then I'm going to just line this up along the score line. Everything looks good, so I can go ahead and drag that out okay great so there is our whoops our pieces are falling out so we'll just save these little bits I'll tuck them in here um, but that is now our right hand side finished and we're going to put um, a vertical belly band on this so we'll just go ahead and do that now as well so on the back side of your right hand fold out we're going to put in this vertical belly band and that's pretty simple. You're just going to grab um, probably a scrap. I'm sure you've got a scrap that's going to fit this and I do. So this scrap is just measuring uh, one and a half inches by eight. Okay. So again, we're not going to attach this now because this is actually something that we're going to need to decorate, put our pattern paper down, and then we can attach the belly band on top of that. Okay, so I just want to make a note, but this will have a belly band on it. Okay, so I just went to grab a little alligator clip so I could keep this organized. So these are all the little bits and pieces that we'll need for later uh, for the right hand side, but we can go ahead and set that aside for now and now start working on the center left hand side. So for the center left hand side, um, we're going to have a waterfall. And so first thing we can do is start cutting the pieces for the waterfall. Our waterfall will be four by six. Um, it's going to hold four by six cards. So you can either measure the waterfall at four by six or make it slightly bigger. But in this case, because my base is six and a quarter, I don't want it butting up right against the edges. So I'm going to just cut my waterfall into straight four by six cards. So in order to do that, you're actually going to cut down um, your paper at four and a half by six and the half inches obviously to attach the waterfall so we're going to cut four cards at four and a half by six okay so there's one so I'm just going to go ahead and show you one and then you can cut and um, you can cut the others and put the tape on. So we're all just going to show you how to do one and you can go and press pause and do the other three on your own and then we'll come back and um, make the base of the back part. Okay, so I have now, I've cut two cards at four and a half by six. I'm just going to take one and all you're going to do, if you've never, if you've done a waterfall, you're probably be bored with this, but line up your four and a half inch side across the top and then just score this at half an inch. Okay, and this is where we're going to attach it. So once you're done scoring it, you can go ahead and get your double-sided tape on there. Okay, and just fold it over so that your tape is on the back side. Okay, so go ahead and do three more of these and then we will come back and um, do the base back and put these in. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut the base part. So this is going to measure eight by seven and a quarter. Okay. 
and you're going to score this at half and at one. Okay, so put your seven and a quarter inch side along the top and score this at half and at one. Okay, we're going to now um, glue this, stick this to the left side before we add in the waterfall pieces. So I'm just gonna fold this up. Okay, so we can kind of put the rest of our album together. So let me just grab the other pieces that we have. So, so far you should have the right-hand side that we put together. This is kind of the left and what we just cut now. Okay, so your left, remember, you had created a spine, so you can go ahead and attach the left-hand spine to this piece. Okay, so let's put our score tape down along this edge. And just fold back a little corner. Okay, now I'm put attaching my unscored side here. This is why I don't pull the tip tape back because sometimes I mess it up a little. There we go. Okay, so that's that. So now there's your left hand side. Now you can bring the right hand side that you had already worked on and attach that. So we're going to just attach um, to the leftmost um, at, between the edge and the first score line on this piece that we had just cut. So we'll go ahead and get our tape down there. Just line this up. And there we go. So let's just look quickly at what we've done. We've got these two flaps that fold out left and right with a little quarter inch spine so they will fold in like that. And then your center has a half inch spine so that everything fits nicely together. So here is how your album should be looking nice and tidy and um, very thin. So I like that, but you have lots of room for photos. Okay, so now we can talk about this waterfall that we're going to put in the center here. So I'm going to leave off the waterfall pieces that we cut because the first thing um, I just want to make sure is whether I, I'm going to make a cover part for this. Um, what do I mean is when you open it up I want you to have two flaps that open and the waterfall will be inside. So let's go ahead and do that and it's going to be similar to what we did on this side just a little bit on the larger side to cover the entire waterfall okay and then also when you open that up you'll have extra room for photos in there as well. So let's go ahead and cut those pieces. Okay so let's go ahead and cut those pieces for the waterfall cover. So your first piece is going to measure six and a half by six and a quarter. Okay, let's put that aside. And then your second piece is going to measure three and a half by six and a quarter. Grab your scoreboard, and I think this is maybe the last bit that we're scoring. Okay, so you're going to run your six and a quarter inch side along the top. No, sorry, you're not. You're going to run your six and a half inch side along the top, and you're going to score at half. And then take your smaller piece and run your three and a half inch side along the top and score that also at half. 
right, so. So just fold those over. Okay, and then grab your double-sided tape and put that, oh, I might have double-sided tape. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back with my double-sided tape, nice fresh roll. So go ahead and stick your tape down here on each of the pieces. Okay, and then bring back your album and let's attach these. So these are going to go one on the top and one on the bottom. And you'll notice that one is longer than the other and that's because this will tuck under a little tag that we're going to stick here, which I will show you how to do at the end of the video in the sort of decorating tips and tricks section. So let's go ahead and stick these down. There we go, so this section will open up and our waterfall will sit inside. Okay, so you should have your four pieces of waterfall cut out. So go ahead and grab those and we'll put these in here now. Okay, so we're going to attach the first piece. So just peel back the corner and we're gonna go right up to the top edge um, of this card. And so you should have about a quarter of an inch clearance on each side to the score lines. Just head and pull your backing out. So there's your first one. Now for the second one, same thing, just pull back a corner. And this becomes really important with waterfalls because sometimes you have to jig them around to make sure they line up. So you're going to go right up against the edge of the card on top. Okay, line that up. Now before you do anything, fold the card over and make sure everything looks okay. Okay, and now you can go ahead pull that out. Once they start to get out of alignment, um, want the next one will be even more out of alignment and so on. So you just want to make sure everything's lined up from the start. Okay, so now same thing here. Folding down. Okay, that looks good. Two and one more. So there's your four waterfalls in here. So you can see, actually, you can put in some more if you like. It just depends what you want to do with this. I'm leaving it at four. If you want to add more, just cut more. I think you can fit in one, two, three. You can probably fit in another four, although I'm um, just to remind you, it will start to get a little bit bulky. So you do want to just watch out for that but you can definitely add in a few more if you like. Um, I'm leaving it like that because I'm going to have this space for um, just to have a picture, a bigger picture in the back here. So if you want space for something larger, that's one way to do it. Okay, and then this will fold up nicely. Okay, so let's take a quick inventory of everything that we've done because the next step is gonna to be to start decorating. So what we should have here is uh, all four parts of your album. So we've got the outside, we'll open up this way. Um, oh yes, we forgot, we're going to put a pocket here. So we're going to just put a um, horizontal pocket in this spot. So let's do that before we finish taking our inventory and get too excited. So I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is I've got this little scrap here. I'm gonna use this. So I'll just, let me just give you the measurements for that really quick. Okay, so that scrap is measuring six by four okay four by six scrap so what you want to do is i want this pocket to be on an angle over here and i want it to have this sort of little edge so i'm just going to cut from one corner down to about the center here so i'm going to just mark out with a pencil i'm starting in the corner and then i'm going to cut down to uh, let's say about there in my pocket okay so i'm going to go ahead and put that into my 
into my um, blade here and just line up that bottom dot is on the center we're on the cutting portion and my corner is lined up so there we go so that's my pocket for this page and again what we're going to do is actually we're going to stick this pocket on after we've done the background um, paper so we're just going to leave that to the side but let's go ahead and take the inventory now so we open up remember we will put the belly band here we've got this pocket here then you open up this way and we have all sorts of fun little things going on inside um, so we've got this that will fold open and lots of space for photos here we will have this with a pocket the bottom pocket that will be installed once we decorate and will fold open and lots of space for photos okay then we're going to have this side which flips open and has our waterfall inside and then we'll have this which is going to be um, actually this is going to be a pocket as well okay so the next steps is to get out your decorative paper your patterned papers and follow along while I start to um, decorate the album so you can see the different parts and how we build it out together Okay guys, so I started to decorate the album and I want to show you some tips and tricks on how I decorated this book. Um, there's a couple of things that, especially how I did some of the closures that I want to walk through with you. Um, but first thing first is I'm just going to go ahead and put the cover on. So I already started to cover this. Um, I used this nice plaid paper if you're using the collection kit. And I thought I would do the same for the front cover. So I, I did mat this down on some... Um, just some some plain cardstock here and I did the spine as well as you can see so this is just one sheet and then I just put a strip across because I thought that looked pretty so I'm just going to glue this down onto the cover and remember that this is a um I don't know what to call it it's not a trifold because it kind of has four panels but it first opens kind of in half so <clears throat> Let me just stick this down. So I just want to make sure that you guys actually fold up the album the right way because once I started to um, put the cover on, a couple of times I slipped up on how I attached the, on where I was attaching things. So I just want to make sure. So you basically have this half inch spine here and then it opens up. You've got these two quarter inch spines and it opens up this way, okay? So it's basically this and like this, all right? So... I always want to make sure you put the front cover where it's supposed to go. Okay, the other thing I did is this was one of the 4x6 cards. I just cut it out to fit onto um, a smaller piece of paper. And I'm going to stick this on the front cover. And because I like the way it looks, I'm going to just pop it up using some pop dot adhesives or some foam, little foam squares. So I'm just going to flip that over and put enough of these down when I use these for albums um, I do tend to feel like I'm worried they're not going to stick so sometimes I will just put an extra little dot of glue in the middle of them oops so I'll just stick this on top there we go and I love I love just um, raising that up just to give it a little bit of dimension there Okay, so that's done. We can move these out of the way. So first thing I want to show you is when we flip it open, um, you've got these two pages. Uh, there's lots of room here for you to put plenty of embellishments, but you're also going to be putting a belly band. So on the right hand side, you will have a piece that we cut out earlier for the belly band. And what you need to do is decorate obviously the base first before you attach the belly band on top. So I chose these mice and the plaid. So I use some of the stickers, um, coordinating stickers, and this I fussy cut out of one of the cards to match up here. So I'm going to go ahead now and attach my belly band since I've got the base decorated. Make sure you put enough glue because the belly band does get a little bit of play. So you want to make sure it sticks. Um, it stays stuck. Okay. So that's how we've attached the belly band over on the right hand side. And I did go ahead and make up some cards to slide in here. So we've got uh, just a four by six. You might want to save that for a different pocket or what have you, just depends how you'd want to slide that in. Um, 
I made some other little cards to put in here. So you can do whatever you like with these, but just these are just little photo mats um, that we'll use here. If you're going to put um, anything on top of the mat, like here for instance, I just glued this down the side so I can go ahead and slide my photo underneath and it's not in the way when I go to do that. So I'll just slide this in here for now. So there's your belly band side. Okay, and now let's go over to the left hand side and open this up and take a look at the closure. So if you recall, I really, if you've watched my other videos, I really like this kind of closure where you just use one piece of paper and tuck, kind of tuck the flap underneath. Um, so I've already done it here. Okay, and I've gone ahead and de decorated the waterfall, but I want to show you how to do that if you don't already know. So the next minute or so of video will be just showing you how to put this on and we're going to do the same thing over here. So if you remember on this side, we created two flaps, uh, top and bottom to open up. So we're going to need a closure here. So I've cut out this little um, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. And I want the top flap to tuck into the bottom flap. So I'm going to put this about down here. If you put it too high, you just, it'll, you'll have to bend this too much. You won't be able to get the flap out. So you want to make it low enough so that you have about um, three quarters of an inch coverage. Uh, let's just measure that. So on this side I did maybe, yeah, it's just, it's over, just over half an inch. So maybe up to an inch, but I'm going to say around three quarters of an inch is where you want this to overlap the card um, that you're trying to tuck into it. Okay, so what you're going to do is, once you have your piece cut out, put some glue along the bottom, the bottom half of this. You don't want to put the glue too high up because it'll just end up ripping. Okay, and so like I said, I want this card to overlap the flap that's going to tuck into it by about half, uh, three quarters of an inch or so. So that looks about right. So I'm just going to place that where I want it to be. You can put it a little bit higher. Just the higher you put it, the more the paper is going to fold and stretch. So you don't want it too high. I mean, it's not like holding down something that's trying to bust open. Okay, so that goes there. And so now you have this cute little closure here as well. So, and then when you go to close it up, just simply slide it underneath. So I love this method because you don't need magnets and it just, it works just as well and it's really cute. So I'm going to flip over now here to the left hand side. So the piece that we put the belly band on, when we open it up, you recall we had done this little section here with the little flap that opens up. So again, here I'm going to use an interesting method. So we had cut our pieces out earlier for this side, and I just want to show that to you. Let me just find them here. Okay, so we had cut out um, this little strip earlier on. This strip was four by one, four inches by one inch. And I also had you cut out a little three by three inch square. So you're going to take those out and um, obviously have them decorated, but this is where this will go, is just going to we're going to attach this like a belly band and then we're going to slide this card in and that's going to hold this section, this flap down onto this flap over. It's going to hold this whole section down together. So um, we're going to attach this like a belly band to the center of the page. So I'm just going to, I just wanted to show you this. So I decorated all these pieces so you wouldn't have to really endure through the video watching all of this being decorated. Um, so of course, obviously pause, come back and watch this and do it on your own, but you have to cover a lot of these pieces require you to put your pattern paper down before you can do any of this work. Okay. So I'm just gluing this down in the center of the page here. Okay. And very simply, I'm just going to slide in my little piece of my little three by three inch square. And that's how this section will stay closed. Again, I have avoided using a magnet and I've also created a little interactive feature, which I think is super cute. Okay, so we can just keep that closed. The next piece I want to show you is over here where we had created this flap that opens up towards the top. And then we also um, created a little pocket for the bottom. So when I had you cut this out, I just want to remind you, this is the five and a quarter by three inch piece. This is just going to be a pocket that we're going to stick down here. 
Okay, so go ahead and stick your pocket down. So we're just gonna put glue on all three sides. And the reason I didn't stick this in before is again, I needed to get my patterned paper base down and then put this on top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this pocket. And I just wanna flip this down. I want these lined up with each other. So I just wanna make sure that I am putting that lined up with the top flap. Okay, and we'll just press that down a little bit. Okay. And then what you're going to do with this then is this pocket will stay closed very, this flap rather stays closed simply by adding in um, a little card into the pocket and that will keep the top flap closed. So that's what we have so far. The last thing I wanna show you is here on the left hand side is that we were going to install a pocket. So I went ahead and covered up my paper and used matching paper to create this little pocket that goes here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue the pocket down now that I have my patterned paper down. There we go. And you can see how it, this album really does come together quickly and I just love it. I love not having to use magnets. So that's uh, why I'm showing you all these kind of little tips and tricks. Okay, and then we can just put our cards in the pockets. I did a couple of other things here where I just took these little um, three by four cards and I folded in half just to make a little kind of folder. You can tuck pictures in. Same thing here, I just kind of made a journaling spot and a mat so that can go in there as well. And so you can continue to build out um, your album. Okay, so here is the final walkthrough of this album. Um, I'm just gonna go a little bit slower. I did a quick flash through in the beginning, but this is its final and decorated state. So um, we just finished putting on the front cover and doing the inside. So this opens up towards the center and we've got a little pocket over here. You can tuck in photos and cards. And on the right hand side, I have a belly band and place to add photos as well. Then this opens up to the left and over here we've got a waterfall in the center and I've got four waterfalls. What I did here is instead of using cardstock pattern paper on every waterfall, I chose a pattern that I really liked. So I love this gingerbread. So I just kind of carried this through and just decorated the strip at the bottom. So that leaves me much more space to add photos in here. And then this I just left blank as space for more photos. So this section closes up and just tucks in under here like that. Okay, over here, this also is a little flap that opens up and we've got room for pictures. I put this little add-on, which I don't think I showed you anywhere in the video, but it's just a little flap made from some um, cart colored, some patterned paper rather, and I just stuck it in here. Then I put this three by four card on top and I only glued it on three sides so I could have a little pocket um, and I can slide this in and out. I do have to go tie some ribbon here. But what this is for, so that you can use like your dry erase marker or um, a watercolor marker and actually write how many days are left until Christmas. So I don't know, let's say four, and then you can tuck it back in. But then this, this is in this case watercolor. So actually this will like just kind of wipe right off. So that's why I kind of put it into a little plastic sleeve um, you don't have to do that. You could just also use it for some journaling, but just an interesting and different way to um, create some interactive elements into your album. Okay, then over on the left, we can open up this side and we've got two sections. One is just very simple, this little pocket, and I use this card in there on in the front because it holds down the upper flap. Up here, I just took a piece of twine and just tied the little bows at the end and I glued that down. And then I cut these out of um, one of the 12 by 12 sheets. And I just put those there and then this opens up at the top and you have room for lots of photos here and to also maybe you can tuck in some photos into the pocket. Okay, and then over here on the right, we have this other little interactive element. So just pull this out and this opens up and we've got lots of space for journals and photos and everything else. 
So that's it. This little uh, fold out folio style album is pretty quick and easy to make. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Always, always, I have to mention, um, please like and subscribe. I do this for free and I love doing it. Um, and the more subscribers, uh, the happier I get. The other thing is, if you have any comments or tips and tricks that you wanna leave me, put them down in the comments. I read everything uh, and I'm always so happy to interact with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have an awesome day and we'll see you at the next project really soon.